Sometimes the world roars by in a blur. Your camera can quiet the roar. It's easy to escape the noise of the world by looking through the viewfinder of your camera. Sometimes you have to do just that. What I do is pop on a macro attachment to just any old camera I have. This one happens to be a Nikon D7000 with a 50mm f1.4 lens. The lens is the important thing here. If you really want a beautiful blur to your photos, use f1.4. With a macro attachment, there's no loss of light, and you get some beautiful colors and contrast with the high definition glass. After that, what I do is switch to f16, pop up the flash, which you have to turn the camera on for first, and put a uh, Luminex tent over the flash to get sharpness and clarity. Then I head out to the garden. The garden is about the best place to be if you want to escape the noise of the world and get some photographs that soften the world and make things a little more palatable for you. If you don't yet want to return to the noise and dirt of the real world, but want to stay in macro world and have other things to see, there's a way to do that too. What I do is put on this LumaQuest soft screen over the pop-up flash, go up to F16 for clarity, and use a high-speed uh, flash sync with a shutter speed of uh, 1 320th. Both, both of those push the extremes with this camera. They're as high as you can go. But when you use those things with the flash, you can get enough light and you can get enough depth of field and clarity to see a whole bunch of other things in macro world. 